how would you like that breakfast that you just ate to slip on right through your intestinal tract and end up in your bloodstream in giant chunks rather than digested material? Well, that may be a bit extreme, but that's basically what's happening with a leaky gut. Well, in this video, I wanna show you some science that's actually proving that glutathione may be something that can help out with a leaky gut. But let me explain a little bit more about what a leaky gut is and then explain what glutathione is and then wrap it all together with some science with a nice little bow on top so it all makes sense. So a leaky gut, also known as intestinal hyperpermeability, just like the name implies, it means that things are flowing through your intestinal tract into your bloodstream that shouldn't. It's when our gut lining is so broken down and worn down from inflammation, from bad foods, from stress, from lack of antioxidants, that food particles can slip on through into the bloodstream. Why is that bad? Well, these food particles trigger the immune system to activate on high alert. This can cause us to feel run down. It can totally zap our energy levels, but it can also trigger some autoimmune issues because the body starts activating all kinds of antibodies and activating all kinds of immune responses. This can lead to intolerances. It can lead to food cravings. It can lead to weight gain. It can lead to autoimmune issues and it can ultimately even lead to some hormonal imbalances. It's a big problem right now, and that's probably why we're seeing so much about it. But let's stop with the anecdotal stuff, and let's start breaking down real science. And one thing that I like to talk about a lot is glutathione, okay? Glutathione is known as the mother of all antioxidants because it's our body's built-in defense mechanism. It's our body's built-in insurance policy and detoxification agent. And how does it have a correlation with a leaky gut? Well, you see, glutathione is a tripeptide. It's made up of three simple amino acids that are ultimately synthesized into this substance called glutathione. Well, what that glutathione does is it travels around or exists in the cell with an extra electron. That electron acts as sort of a lure to catch free radicals because those free radicals need an electron to pair with. I know we're getting into some crazy old school biology here, but it's actually very basic when it's put in that analogy. Basically, that glutathione has a hook on it. That hook attaches that spare oxygen that is your free radical and neutralizes it. But when we have these issues going on in the gut all the time, we have tons of inflammation, tons of stress, it would make sense that we need additional glutathione at the source there. Well, I wanna reference some studies that break down some legitimate evidence that glutathione may be linked to a leaky gut. You see, when we're under stress, we have a high level of reactive oxygen species. We have a high level of those free radicals, and that exists predominantly in the gut. And since glutathione is so present in the gut, it's spending all of its energy neutralizing extra free radicals in the gut, so our gut is never getting a chance to heal. So even if you don't have a leaky gut to begin with, you're compromising your immune system, you're compromising your body's ability to rebuild the intestinal lining that naturally gets sort of depleted. Now, the first study that I wanna reference looked at inflammatory bowel disease, okay, where you just have inflammation throughout the bowels, typically like Crohn's disease. Now, it's a good indicator and a good test because we have direct inflammation and a direct level of lots of free radicals right at the source there. So what this study looked at was what our levels of glutathione were doing when we had irritable bowel disease. Well, what they found is that there were elevated levels of glutathione disulfide. That glutathione disulfide is the already used form of glutathione, suggesting that when there was inflammation and when there was disease, our bodies were depleted in active glutathione because that glutathione was being used to try to recover from the inflammatory bowel disease. I know it's a lot to put together, but that's how we can take science and make a direct correlation. Now, the next study is even more interesting. This one looked at celiac patients, okay? Patients that had issues with gluten and had an intolerance to gluten manifesting in celiac disease. Took 39 patients and they took 19 in the control study, 19 that didn't have celiac and the rest did. Well, they found some interesting stuff with this study as well. What they looked at in this study was the levels of what are called lipid peroxidation. And to make it simple, lipid peroxidation is when fats turn into free radicals, when fats are oxidized. So that lipid peroxidation, you'll hear me talk about it quite frequently in some of my videos. That's all it means. It means fats that are usually in the intestinal tract are turning into something bad. So what they found was that lipid peroxidation increased in the presence of celiac disease. 
directly correlating with a diminished antioxidant level and diminished levels of glutathione in the body, suggesting that the antioxidant effects in those with celiac disease and inflammation in the intestinal tract are directly correlated by a decrease in glutathione. Now again, this isn't the end-all be-all, and it's not here to totally break science and say that this is the way it's going to be forever. But the fact that we're starting to find some correlation between these advanced studies, these peer-reviewed studies, glutathione, our immune system, and a leaky gut is pretty amazing. So what can you do? Well, first and foremost, make sure you're keeping on top of those free radicals. Whether that means eating the right kinds of foods, whether that means supplementing with a little bit of cysteine to help that glutathione production, or taking the easy way and just using some glutathione exogenously in the first place to help your body out and give it a break. Make sure that you're keeping an eye on the mother of all antioxidants because at the end of the day, the only thing that is looking out for you is you. I'll see you on the next video.